So from a long time, I was searching for a tool that can convert from MH to 3D or from DEX to 3D. I searched a lot, but a lot of them was like not available today and they was like coming soon. But finally, I found the one which worked the best at this time and it's completely free. So let's get started. So first we need an image. So for that you can use any AI tool such as Midjourney, Delhi to create from text to 3D. So you have to get an image. So in this case, I have a normal image that I downloaded from Google. So it's in hand image, something like this. You can use anyone. As you see, it's not really good quality. It's just a rough image. And the second thing that really help is a mask of this hand. So what you can do is come up here to any of a 2D program, 2D software and drag your image in that and just remove the background. So once you remove the background, save this thing. Save this image and we will use this thing to mask up. So after you have an image to create 3D model and a mask image to tell that this is exactly the model, then you can start the work. So what you have to do is come up here to the Monster Mesh website. I will put a link in the description so you can go from that. Now click on here and import template image and just uh, select the real hand that you want to convert and now come up again here create a layer mask or if you don't want to give that image you can just draw that we have to draw the full image but I don't want it so let's delete this thing and come up here and create a mask and now give it this mask so as you see make sure that it really follow your model and now if it is then click on inflate and as you can see magically with the middle mouse uh, click I can just scroll magically it converted to 3d model uh, there are some things that can be fixed but we will use blender to just fix this thing fix this thing but for now uh, the really fun thing that we can do is that we can also animate this model in this uh, monster mesh website so what we can do is that we can come up here to the animation animate and now click on this one to record your animation but before that i want to add the points so i can animate let's delete this one this was the mistake let's add this one here and now one here and Maybe we can use uh, one here instead. Let's just see how this works. Now turn on the recording. Select this one and shake your hand something like this. And now put this. And as you can see, this will now start following the pattern that I added. So make sure to give it a good pattern. So I delete that. Delete it one once more and maybe we can just add some more and you can just try to animate the fingers so let's just see one two three four and now record this thing and we have to do like one by one so if i play as you can see it's working like this it's just for the example that how these things work so let's just select this one and now as you can see it's exactly following what we want so this is really cool now the uh, last thing how to export this thing and how to fix it in blender let's go with that so click on export and export animation as gltf file so export that make sure to enable full quality in the frame rates then you want it but i will go with the default setting Now open up a new blender and now F4 and import a GLTF 
now come up here and drag this one to open it and as you can see if i just press space as you can see it's working so it's that great now let's just quickly fix this thing and let me show you what we can actually get from a in just a few seconds Now for the texturing we can also fix up the texturing so come up here to the texture paint Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.